Morning. Uh, everyone's gathered in the Great Hall, and, um... Um... Well, I just wanted to come spread a little cheer. You know me, I've got cheer on tap, free of charge. So, let's go! There you are, Commander. Come now, let's see you look sharp. I'd like to begin the Council with a refresher of current events. I sent Sabine and Garu to you, Chris, to do some reconnaissance. Garu, if you would be so kind. <clears throat> Certainly. Oh, and uh, may I mention, it's not often I get to do recon with such a ravishing partner. So long as you don't mind me judging you for it. But dancing ain't my thing, so let me cut to the chase. Haishan is now completely under Imperial control. Oh, my poor people. The tail, eh? I've got a third-class thing or three to say about that. Is that how all Gaudians think? I cannot deny some of our countrymen hold such ugly views. It is reprehensible, and I am truly sorry. You ain't the one who needs to apologize. Besides, I'm glad I got to hear it. It'll put a little more rage in my sword. So, how much should we worry that these lens wielders he's recruiting aren't getting a lucrative deal at all? We know Aldrich is trying to weaponize rune lenses and put them into more general use. The dragon we saw on the battlefield is a prime example. At the laboratory where we were held, he used... people to unlock the primal lens's power. He'll likely do the same to the other lands bearers who come forward. The jukes must be stopped before more innocent lives are lost. A pretty thought, but considering the state of our army... The Empire has forged a formidable union with the Revenants and the Kinanis. In comparison, we are still licking our wounds from the last conflict. Some Eucrisians tried to resist the Imperial assault on Haishan, but they were completely overrun. And since fleeing Naristar, King Salus is nowhere to be found. We haven't been able to contact General Electra or Maxim either. Last we saw him, they were holding the rear as we pulled out of Athrobot. Aye. But you still have we tree folk and the Shi'arks, which I admit is likely not enough. Do we have any hope, any means at all, of defeating the Empire in direct conflict? 
None, my lady. So there it is. No hope. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, so all of that is terrible. But it's not like we're just gonna give up, right? Laying down arms and surrendering is... Well, it's not the worst of our available options. In doing so, we might be able to save the lives of countless soldiers, our comrades and friends. What? No. We're not surrendering. No way. Not happening. Cool be? Naturally, another option is to keep fighting. What say you, Commander Noah? I... Okay, back off, all of you! It's wrong to put all of this crap on Noah! It's completely unfair to ask him to decide what to do with that many people's lives! I mean, if it were me, I... I'd be shaking in my boots, all right? Heck, I'd probably collapse on the floor in a little ball of goo and start blubbering like a baby! It's okay, Leon. I appreciate you. I do. But this is a choice I have to make. Somehow. Somehow indeed. Fortunately, we've not received any reports of the Imperial Army marching this way. Why? I know not. Perhaps they don't realize we're here, or perhaps they're waiting for all of their forces to join up first. In any case, you at least have a little time to consider things. Though, the decision must be made. What's to become of us, milady? There's no telling what he'll decide. Oh, please. That's the only part that's obvious. You're that certain, then? I don't bet on a losing horse, Melridge. Well said. I, for my part, believe in him, too. Your Majesty, what will happen to us? Something? I don't know. Whatever Commander Noah decides, I will never stop fighting to retake you, Chris, and restore His Majesty to the throne. Neither will I. Thank you. But I don't think it will come to that. Periel believes in Noah. She knows he's not so readily broken. Hmm, perhaps so. 
One day, she'll see that I'm not either. We're not gonna die, baby girl. Not while I'm still hopping. <laughs> you don't believe me? We'll pack up and leave right now, yeah? Don't lie to me. Huh? You won't run. <sighs> Look. You're my number one. I am not letting anyone hurt you. But there are some fights you just can't run from. I know. I love you, Dad. So what happens now? Yeah, if the Alliance decides to surrender, what's it mean for us? Well, we certainly won't be going back to the Empire. Unless we want our necks stretched for desertion and treason. But... We could always flee to some remote area, keep the Resistance going from there. There's always a chance sentiment within the Empire will turn against the Dukes. The opposition movement could grow. Even if it comes to that, I'll never stop fighting. Think you could take me with you? It would be extremely dangerous. Oh, I know. But you've all fought so hard for me and my sister. And I want to return the favor. Me too. We... will both fight with you. You're very brave, the both of you. But you don't have to worry, Milu. It won't come to that. How do you know? Because I know him. So, what happens now? I'm gonna assume that's a rhetorical question. Pull me! What do you mean? Far as I can tell, Noah isn't the kind of fellow to give up at a time like this. Agreed. So what happens is that we get ready for the battle ahead. This isn't over until we bury the Empire and liberate Yarnan. End of story. Ha! Huh. Yes, that's exactly right. I suppose I should worry less and prepare more. <laughs> Thanks for saving me the trouble of coming up with a pep talk.
Hustle, collies! Hustle! Our final test be so close, I can smell it! Aye, for true. No approved is valor to us on the sands. He'll not make the wrong choice now. We must be ready when the order comes. We fight not just for him, but for our own future. I know it's a battle of a lifetime when I seize one. And you won't catch this rising star turning tail. A poem, then. Hope begins a slender flame that carried by all no tyrant can tame. Organizing the stockroom, Sumire. Eh? I sure am. Gotta have things ready to bust out in case Nola and everybody need to run off to war, you know? Bust out. Yeah! Rummaging kills all the pre battle momentum. I wanna be like, boom, here you go, so they can be like, boom, here we go! That's the best way for me to help. <laughs> well said, Sumire. Something tells me the student is starting to surpass the teacher. Well, Noah, have you found your answer? I can't stop thinking about one thing. What's that? Was I the wrong person for this all along? My choices have affected so many people, and it just doesn't feel right. Cousin, come on, please! When you told us you were forming a resistance army, we pledged our lives to you, remember? There ain't been a moment since that we regretted it. That's right. <laughs> since they regretted it. Yes, sir. We made up our minds that very night. 
Just so happens you're a man worth risking our lives for. As are the ideals you believe in. So you can stop all this second guessing right now. Your heart knows what is right. It always has. So trust in it. Thank you all. My feelings haven't changed since that night. I feel the same now, even as I stand here blessed with so many new friends. So thank you. I know what to do now. Good. If you're not sure of yourself, your soldiers can't fight. A leader must cling fast to their beliefs. Spectacular. I was wondering when O oh Great Captain would become O oh Nearly Excellent Captain. Huh? Wait, I was still only great? Huh? No way! Did Emir just make a joke? Bad form? Nearly excellent form, I'd say. <laughs> now I've truly seen it all. If you're ready, Noah, then lead us onward. Straight and true. So, Commander, have you come to a decision? His face seems to say yes. Noah? <sighs> We're going to keep fighting. We're going to stop the Empire. If there was a way to save all of you by turning away from this, I'd do it but the Jukes will never allow it. We know what he did to Yelu's village and what he's beginning to do now in Haishan. He's going to end so many lives. I know what I'm asking of you won't be easy, but it won't be beyond the realm of possibility either. So I say we fight and protect as many people as we can. Now that's what I like to hear. Poopy poo! Yes, yes, I do like the sound of that. Let's rise up and fight again, as when we first defended Haishan. Shards never shrink from a chance at glory. And this battle will be the most glorious of them all. Here, here. We must put a stop to Aldrich's barbaric reign. See? I knew I chose the right person. That said, what we need now is a strategy. A way to win the war against the Empire. Melrich? With all respect, Commander, that is a ludicrous request. We'd be lucky to defeat the Imperial Army in a single battle, much less a war. So it's impossible? The word I used was ludicrous, not impossible. Besides, I know a worthwhile challenge when I hear it. Sounds like you have an idea. 
First things first. We must reinforce our army by gathering as many of the scattered Eucrisian and Noristari troops as possible. In addition, there is another small military force to whom we might appeal for help. Ah, I knew I was asked here for a reason. Something tells me you've had this ludicrous plan in your back pocket all along. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Can we count on the second son of the Fawad clan? Well, I'm none too keen on looking my brother in the eye again, but I guess it's time to swallow my pride. The elves are likely to be drawn into this conflict sooner or later anyway. Relax, Lillowin. I'm not gonna punch him in the face this time. That's not what I... <sighs> so there you have it. Good Alway here will be our emissary to the elves. Appreciate it. No problem. I'll figure things out somehow. Permit me to gather the Eucrisian troops. And the Guardians will get our butts in gear and track down what's left of the Norse stories. Commander Noah, now would be a good time for you to seek out new allies as well. We must act before the Empire makes their next move. Now let's get to work and win this war. We're going to win, all right. No matter what. Okay, let's go find some new talent. Hey, no problem. We can do this. I have things to do, you know. You got it! I'll bring the panache.
little nervous, but okay. I'll try my best. Suppose it's good to see oh, new faces. Off with you. <laughs> Where you want to go. Oh, okay then. Okay. Oh, and you're welcome to join me for a few songs whenever you feel like it. Kurtz, mind if I call on your expertise? What's the matter, Noah? I'm looking for a... It's got lots of veggies in it. Ring any bell? Huh. Oh, it's... So you know what it is? No! The weight? That's not... Yo! I give you... Whether I've... Ca Thanks, Kurt.
Is this... Oh. Hmm. I don't believe it. Noah. I... Oh, well... Thank you. <sighs> this is the... The soup is... I could... It's called veg... That's it? That's the... <laughs> oh, I am... You won't hurt my feelings. I didn't make it. One of my, I think I might... He's personally... Passion and sincerity. Huh? Thank you. Hence... I will make my...
sweet sugar toast. This is dire. If the creature has grown as big as they say, let it get. <laughs> oh, please. Bungling. And yet, the problem remains. I suppose I could take care of it alone. But why face a meta? Nice. You there, young man, but though... Let's say we join forces and help a few people out. Um, help... <gasps> oh, uh, but confound... Okay. And we can't... Don't you want from... Yes! That's the... Shall we... Heck yeah! Um, do you think... Although, I... me at your foes, which is to say, off we go. I'm gonna help the- Right, here we are. Deep in this cavern, what's up? Do this.
<laughs> I'm down for some light exercise. Looks like we'll reach the back of the cavern soon. Oh yes, this is definitely the place. Uh, the, the seal is intact, that's good. I'll just uh, quietly pat myself on the back for that one. Sorry, what do you mean? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> right, on we go. This is where the experiment took place. I thought for certain we'd have stumbled upon that greedy gobbler by now. Perhaps they fed me some tall tail. In which case, I'm absolved. Not that a perfect cutie like myself would err in the first place. Um, Momo, would you mind telling me what's really going on here? The secret... No, I... Um... <laughs> okay, it's on! Yeah! 
for you guys. Arcana! of intense magical stuff. This cavern is one of many research stations. Okay. <laughs> so... <gasps> Wrong! Oh, so you were exaggerating about the centuries part? Wrong again. And I'm no cute little girl, thank you. But I thought you liked being called cute. You kept saying as much. No, I mean, I'm a boy, silly Billy. Oh. Oh. Um. Nor should. Okay. Now, which means it's for your. Um. Here it is. <laughs> the side. Yeah. Sure. All I know is that magic as great as yours goes way over my head. Give it time, Schnookums. One day you'll un- Now, I believe I'll make myself comfortable at your humble abode. Excuse me? <gasps> you think I didn't know about that rough, tough alliance you lead, Cupcake? What you need is my- <laughs> I'll have your every enemy just dying in capitulation! Um...
teleportation professional. Welcome back. And I don't know what. Just so you know, some something. Something I. Changing things up, hmm? Come back alive, yes? Yeah? Get in here! We're not afraid of you! Still, you do not understand. So be it. I shall spare you further misery and raise you into my legion of servants. Ah, not this pompous pile of bones again. It isn't the Vandals who demolished my beloved subjects. Do you know how much trouble it was to restore them? Restore them. What do you want this time, you freaks? Gonna destroy another village like you did mine? Who be poo? Have I not made that clear? I want you. Join your strength to mine, and I will grant you life eternal. Now there's a carefully crafted lie. Rude. That spineless rogue, Dirad, might attempt to deceive you, but the King of the Revenants is never false. Dirad, is it? Don't suppose that's the creep that overran our village? The one working with the lady in the fox mask? He is my arch nemesis. How dare that villain seize the prize I had already set my sights on. Quickly now. Give yourselves over to me that I may grant you salvation from your miserable fates. Wait. So you're not on the same side as the Revenants that attacked Yarnon? Maybe we should hear him out. At last, they see reason. Goodness, but you humans always let the blood go to your heads. I 
could so easily relieve you of that problem. Hear me. You stand before the King of the Revenants, ruler of the Elden Realm. How can we not hear you when you won't stop saying it? Still, I suppose you don't seem to be a monster per se. So to summarize, the Arch Revenant Dirad ousted you from your castle and you're merely trying to get it back? Wrong. Beg your pardon? I was not ousted. Losers are ousted. The villain stole the castle from me whilst I slumbered. I fail to see the distinction. And I had no idea there were revenant kings. Does it fascinate you, child? You've a handsome visage, much like mine. See how beautiful you could become with just a few small changes. Tempting, but no. Let's get back to the matter at hand. You're saying that if we get a hold of the Runelands and this palace of yours, Castle Harganthia? Was it? We'll be able to eradicate the Revenant army? Correct. Within the castle is a device powered by the Rune Lens of Soul Calling. Removing the Revenant army from the picture would change the course of the war. All right, then let's go. I'll. Not so fast, Commander. The Guardians are going to take care of this one. We got something of a personal stake in the matter. Yeah, Noah. Let us deal with the Revenants. I suppose that works, seeing as we still need someone to recruit new allies. Why don't you focus on that, Commander, while they storm the Revenant castle? All right. So here's the deal, Marcus. We'll help you get your castle back. But in return, we disable that rune lens and the Revenant army with it. Agreed? It is agreed. Oh, and it goes without saying that once the deed is done, the castle shall be given over to me. Very well. Then let us make ready for Guardian Marissa and her team to storm Castle Harganthia. So, this is Haishan's palace. Hmm. What think you, Your Grace? Is the decor not most extravagant? I don't care for it. Oh, well, how fortunate, considering we'll be redecorating it from top to bottom. Enough! What progress with the rune lenses? We have tried to entice those with the required talents to come forward, Your Grace, but to little avail. You entice? We need them. Many of them, if we are to fully awaken the Primal Lens. Bring them to me. By force, if necessary. Y yes, Your Grace. Oh, and if I may, it just so happens I came by a little prize that His Grace might find interesting. Well, well. 
if it isn't King Salus Bailrunt of Norrister. Ah. Uh. We found him cowering in one of the neighboring villages. I have long been meaning to ask King Salus something. What? That boy, Noah. The Allied army he leads must be headquartered someplace. I wonder if you might be privy as to where. I... I couldn't possibly... Changing things up, hmm? Perfect. You caught me when I was warmed up. Come back alive, yes? I have things to do, you know. Come back alive. I'm a teleportation professional. I see you, Challenger, and I accept. Um, okay. Who are you? 
I am El Alicanto, the Golden Bird's chosen warrior. And I have ascended the sun-kissed peak to await younger blood like you. Someone I can call a worthy comrade. Oh, so you're looking to team up? If you were a warrior worth fighting for, then see, I will gladly join your crusade. But first, your destiny must be weighed. You must face the Golden Bird's judgment. I'm listening. A divine duel, boy. If you can take me down, then I will know that you are a true warrior and our destinies are aligned. I am ready for your challenge at any time. Simply say the word and we begin. Okay, I'm ready to- Such fire, I like it. And now, here I come. I stand ready to be tested. El Alicanto! Let's do this. El Alicanto! Let's do this! I stand. Seize every chance. I stand ready to be tested.
Guard me now! The I shall find my way to your town and prepare for the crusade ahead. If we're being honest, it's really freaking cold up here. Shouldn't be hard. Exercise. My adorableness knows no. Teleportation coming up. Is this the right?
All right. Is this the right... All right. One perfect teleportation coming up. You go. There you... Uh, Owie, uh... Looking for you, of course. Right, uh... Today, you go. Oh, here we... Um, for any years? More like she's always been around. I'll explain later. Right now, I need your help. She'll calm down if we... I'll take all of you on. Ready if you are. Then it begins... Do it. What? No. I expected more. You're still letting emotion get the best of you. Those big, wasteful movements. But I... Oh, no. We didn't mean to... Ah, let her get it out of her system. I've known her since she was... Her father and I are old sparring buddies. The way she bawled the first time she... Oh. Hmm? I noticed you act... Well, what do you say, Noah? Of course. There. <laughs> you... Dorayaki? Right. <laughs> to the sweet shop. Like right now, Noah. Go, go, go! Never failed at this. Not once. Here we go. <sighs> and we're here. Changing things up, hmm? Try not to die on my watch. Come back alive. Oh, do come in.
thank you kindly. Thanks. Oh, hey!
Thanks. Come in, come in! Right up. Thanks. Right then, let us prepare the team that will storm Castle Harganthia. Don't worry. We'll get this done lickety-split. Yep. We've got a score to settle with that Arch Revenant piece of trash. I know the castle well, and intend to personally deliver Dirard his comeuppance. But you may have the privilege of attending me. the castle's location. I'll be using something called a men here as my landmark. So, you can rest assured that the teleportation will be flawless, perfect, and devoid of any accidental strandings in the interplanar abyss. We can begin the journey whenever you are ready. Commander Noah, would you give the word? The word is said. Oh, and thanks for doing this, Marissa. Don't mention it. And away we go. Do try not to slow me down, fleshbags. 
I will join you and remain by the entrance if you wish to change your team. And I'll be taking my shop on the road. Who else are you selecting for the mission, Marissa? For the record, I would like to go, but the final decision is yours. What she said. Right, Marissa, we're counting on you. If this works, it will strike a huge blow to the Dukes. Luck be with you. Consider it done. Is everyone ready to teleport? Our destination is Castle. Um, Hardisgarth. Yes. You do know where we're going, right? Fear not. I am never less than perfect. So. <sighs> Holy crap! <sighs> Are we alive? Because there were a lot of detours that time. It's fine! Perfectly fine! I make no mistakes! Oh, Carrie! You are a paragon! <laughs> I'm pretty sure we almost died. Paragon! Say it! Unless you think you can do better, I could send you... Nope, you nailed it. No complaints. This is unmistakably the right castle. However, Hardisgarth is the castle's old name. How did she know this? So, uh... The castle's floating, right? I'm guessing that's because of the rune lens. Correct. The magical overflow holds her aloft. Stunning, is she not? A truly fitting abode for the King of the Revenants. Perhaps it's in our best interests to keep an eye on this castle after it's been retaken. Hmm. Nothing. We can sort that out later. All right, let's get started. Everybody keep a cool head. as a person who's most likely to get carried away. Missions like this call for a laid-back approach. Says the guy who's so laid-back his head touches the ground. I'll stay here and provide support. Speak to me if you need to change your team. And if you want to check on Noah, let me know when I'll blink over for a peek. Go get them, team.
Now here is a face I thought not to gaze upon again. Were he wise, he would have remained in his slumber, instead of clambering back to his own subjugation. Ever the fool. Don't you agree? Marcus. My king. My king. You have returned. My king. My beloved, this castle of corpses was our abode. It's not even the passing of centuries enough to dull our human attachments? Or is it simply that his are abnormally strong? <laughs> the latter, perhaps. I suppose it does take a tenacious man to vie for his kingdom, even after being rendered a corpse. these ugly plants. How dare he infest my castle with such repugnant flora. I command you to nip these eyesores in the bud. What? You mean like, thwack him? Okay. Thank you. 
the true face of power. Take this! Darkness. Take... Let's try this! Come on! For the win. Barely broke a sweat. Experience is strength! Okay, it's on. Yeah. Grant me power. Yeah. You asked for it. You got it. Arcana. Exercise! Experience is strength!
Okay. It's on. Take this. You asked for it. You guys. Arcana! For the win. That doesn't even count as exercise. What did I do now? You reversed the gears. Behold, the pinnacle of mechanical engineering. I really Take this. darkness. You asked for it. You got it. Arcana. Yeah. Let's try this. Come on. Hey, hey, I did it. I'll take the kill. Well done, my minions. I will reclaim my kingdom.
can't be power. Ha! Go get him, Pooby. a chance against this training. A nice, smooth hunt. What? I got... Now what? I don't think the castle goes any higher than this. We meet again, old friend. The thief who stole my throne shall not address me as friend. On this day, I avenge myself, Dirad. He's not the only one here for vengeance. You're gonna pay for what you did to our village. I was worried you'd be off with your army of dead guys, but this works out nicely. Two birds, one stone. And what do you mean by that? We can take care of you and this castle's rune lens in one fell swoop. Luck is smiling on us today for sure. <laughs> How absurd. It was a boorish mistake to intrude on me and my beloved. And such things must be punished. Allow none to trespass! Least of all, these living wretches! What the... It's... Sins pile upon each other, Dirad. Sins? You mean love? As soon you shall see. I'm gonna tear you apart! Oh, baby! My turn. Yes! Yes! 
Gotcha! Go get him, Pooby. Gonna miss. Grant me power. To battle. Yeah. You asked for it. You got it. Arcana. <laughs> This ain't good. No! Behold, my magnificent power. I shall take Try a bit of be so You bad. have served me well. that up. Somehow, man, was she ridiculously strong. No! What have you done? Come back to me, my beloved! Could you not hear her soul crying out for salvation? After her beauty changed and her life expired, she was lashed to this world against her will. Your love meant nothing to her. For what is eternal life to one who rejects it? No! No, no, no! Don't worry, pal. You'll be joining her shortly. Although, I think you might have just been dumped. Ouch. Must you, wretched guardians, always stand in my way? Excuse me? You set foot where you didn't belong, and now you're gonna die for good! Get him, girl! Show that monster what the people of Yarnan are made of! Indeed, Dirad, you are not worthy of dying by my hand. Fear not, Guardian. Should you be struck down, I will animate your corpse and complete our revenge. Thanks, but I think I'll do it just right the first time. Poofa poofa bee! Say your prayers, Dorad. You're gonna pay for your nun! Oh, how I quiver, little guardian. Frighten me more. Just die already! No mere guardian will stand in my way. Ha! 
perish! You first! Guardian will stand in my way. This is none of your affair, child. You made it my affair when you took my home from me. You first! This is none of your affair, child! You made it my affair when you took my home from me! You first! If you love that place so much, then you should have died with it. It's because I didn't that I can finally rid the world of you. Dying doesn't fix anything. My friends taught me that. Loathsome creature. <sighs> You're one to talk. This is none of your affair, child. You made it my affair when you took my home from me. Just die already! No mere guardian will stand in my way. This is none of your affair, child. You made it my affair when you took my home from me. Perish! You first! This is none of your affair, child. You made it my affair when you took my home from me. Just die already! No mere guardian will stand in my way. You first!
told you it was over. Impossible. You defiled my home! Do you know how special that place was? I had nothing! No one! Your nan was everything to me! And I'm not gonna let you take that away! Though our eyes no longer shed tears, we remember what it is to have a heart and to feel pain. No. This is mine. It was all mine. I will have my throne and my powers back now. No, no! Stay away! I'll not be vanquished by the likes of you! Farewell, miscreant. Your sins were many, but I shall not forget that I once named you friend. Is it over? Also, sounds like you two had quite the backstory. That tale ended centuries ago. To speak of it now would change nothing. What jealousy touched, jealousy destroyed, costing a man his friend and the woman he loved. Tis a threadbare tale. Is that the primal lens? Morning, Noah! Melridge called council again today, so everybody's over at the Great Hall looking all scowly. Shake a leg! I'm ready. Very well. Let's begin by discussing our current situation. Great. Can we start with how I talked until I was blue in the face just to convince this stubborn... You didn't convince me of anything. I am here because the fate of our entire race hangs in the balance. Commander Noah, I presume. My name is Lakian Arcathes Fawood. I come here on behalf of the Fawood clan, as well as the Elvish Table of Elders. We have been informed of the Empire's Rune Lens research, the abductions in the Greatwood, and the repugnant violations of the League of Nations' sovereignty. The Elves will not turn a blind eye to such. We seek to join the Alliance. Your strength and courage would be most welcome. Thank you. Okay, is no one gonna give me any credit? <sighs> this isn't about you. 
have asked the elves to shelter their army in the forest. We don't want to show our hand to the Empire too soon. There are other minor forces through the League's territory that have declared for the Alliance. Unfortunately, many have declared for the Empire as well. I have succeeded in bringing a large number of surviving Eucrisian and Norristuri troops here to the castle. However, I have not been able to account for General Electra or Captain Maxim, who stayed in Athrobalt, or King Celis, who fled the city. The General was so brave. There are whispers of other groups who continue to oppose the Empire. Sadly, there is precious little time remaining to us. We should try to connect with as many of them as we can before our clash with the Empire. Yes. It's never too late to keep trying. So that's where those allied rats hide. From the look of it, one would hardly know they raised it from an abandoned citadel. Shall I leave the building unharmed, Your Grace? No. This castle will soon be their grave. I have no use for such a Golgotha. I cannot believe these stubborn wretches are still trying to swim against the flow of history. It is a castle of fools. Shall I send a runner demanding surrender? If they're of a mind to capitulate, they'd have done so already. So we attack without mercy? Do you object, General Goldwyn? As I understand it, there are many children in the Alliance. Need we scatter lives so young to the wind? The General. Hailed as defender of the Empire, is concerned about the lives of pups who bared their fangs at his motherland. Fortunately for you, General, your Emperor has already cast his judgment. I trust you will obey. I know my place. Narengard! Where is that brutish corpse of yours? One moment. Greetings, Dukes Aldrich. You will be pleased to learn the rats who crept into my home are now sustenance for my beloved. Rest assured your plans may go forward unimpeded. They had better. Never fear. Not bad. Sure you don't want to stay that way? And deprive the world of my impossibly handsome visage. What a loathsome suggestion. Ten points for unshakable confidence. It sure took the Empire long enough. I figured they'd stage this attack a hell of a lot sooner. Let's just pray that extra time is what decides the winner of this war. Cool. Now all that's left is to wait for the signal. I think I'll head back to the castle. The rest is up to you, Marissa. They 
finally found us. Yes, but not as quickly as we feared. The delay has given us time to squeeze in a few last preparations. Speaking of, I've squeezed in a few more rescued soldiers. And I've squeezed our new recruits as hard as I can in their training. Got the troops outfitted too, but barely, and much to the annoyance of my extremely tired craftsmen and merchants. I finished preparing the magical ritual we'll use to signal Marissa. It took delicate adjustments to make sure I channeled the message correctly through the men here, but I'm so perfect, I got it on the third try. It would have been harder, except someone had already performed a similar rite there before, so... A final showdown with the Empire? Yar, I be ready to hustle! Let's knock those villains all the way back home, cousin! But if we lose... We won't. Not a chance. Right, Sane? That's right. This time we stop Aldric no matter what. Some say victory and defeat are a breath apart. I say victory goes to those who work the hardest. We have earned this. Yep, there's no stopping us now. We can do this. The enemy is still readying their troops. There won't be a battle until the morrow at the earliest. Let us use this night to nourish our strength and courage. Good idea. We've done everything in our power. All that remains is to win. And we will. Hmm. So, um, good luck tomorrow and all that. It's going to be a very long day, Noah. Get some rest. You too. Uh, Master Scene? Yes, Yellow. I just wanted to thank you again for rescuing us. Uh, I don't deserve that. I failed to save your family, and as a citizen of the Empire, I owe you so much more. Oh. 
That's why winning tomorrow's battle is so important. We'll be defending the lives and livelihoods of countless people, not just your village, but people across the League of Nations. Also, the citizens of the Empire must be saved from the ambitions of a tyrant. And I believe we can do it. Um... I believe it too. And... I'm praying you come back safely. We'll need all the luck we can get if we're to make it through the day. So every prayer you say makes me feel all the stronger. Hmm? Noah? Hello, Noah. I'm, uh, well, sorry I barged in like that. Barged in? On what? Noah, do you remember our first conversation down in the Rune Barrows? Yeah, I do. It was so quiet, just like now. Look how much our lives have changed. You've gone from a newcomer in the Watch to the commander of the Alliance, and I've left the Empire to fight at your side. I guess it is pretty strange. My mind's been so wrapped up in everything going on that I've forgotten how to reminisce. Well, at least you haven't changed much. You meddle on a much bigger scale now, but otherwise, eh. Oh, that's all I've changed? Eh? When we met, I thought my path in life was fame, renown, and living for my family. My father had pinned his hopes on my elder brother. When he died on the battlefield, grief overwhelmed my mother and she completely closed down. On that day, I decided it was my turn to step up. I lived for my house so blindly that I even raised my blade against you, my friend. It's like every decision I made to that point was wrong. And now, I don't know who I am anymore. Really? Because I just see the same person you've always been. And what is that? Someone who has this... Well, I guess you'd call it a creed? Or a code, maybe. Values that you stick by, no matter what. I saw it in you at the Barrows. I saw it in you when we fought an Eltis Vice. And I see it in you now. A code? Yeah. I mean, I didn't know what I was thinking that day I left Kashiri. I just sort of went. But then to meet someone like you, a man with actual goals and principles, it was mind-blowing. And I admired you for it. So why do you keep fighting this war? And don't say to meddle, because we both know it's more than that. Uh, my mother died when Lane and I were little, so Dad was the one who raised us. He did everything. And then one day, poof, he was gone too. 
Some bandits raided the village. He decided to fight back. And... Ugh. As a kid, I couldn't begin to understand why he did that. And in fact, I, I hated him for it. I hated that he made it his problem when he didn't have to. Like, was whatever he was trying to accomplish that much more important than us? I wanted so badly to understand him. I see. And did you find your answer? <laughs> yeah. Turns out I'm a lot more like him than I realized. I wouldn't be here if he hadn't stood up that day to protect me, Lean, and the rest of the village. So that's why I'm doing the same now. <laughs> well, don't forget there are lots of people ready to fight for you as well. Including me. Thanks, Sane. I'm glad you'll be with me for the battle tomorrow. So long as we remain together, we cannot lose. I should go, Noah. Have to rest up for tomorrow. That we do. Ah, Noah! Everything all right, Yuma? Oh, um, well, I suppose I'm so nervous about tomorrow that I'm having trouble falling asleep. I thought talking with Periel might calm my nerves, but when I went to her quarters, she wasn't there. Janquist didn't seem to know where she was either, so I've been trying to figure out where she might, uh, by which I mean. Yes? She's, she's not in your quarters, is she? I think you've got the wrong idea. Oh, goodness, but I'm so very worried. Ever since those Imperial troops appeared on the horizon, she's had this agonized expression on her face. I do hope nothing bad happened. Uh, but she seems to trust you, so if you see her, do you think you could reach out? Sure, I'll do that. All right. Oh, I'm so useless. I wonder she doesn't confide in me. I wonder where Puriel went. Slow down, General. You're overdoing it before the big battle. <laughs> It'll take more than a few drinks to topple the mighty Kogan. Oh. Ho there, cousin. Come for a little pre-battle celebration? Um... 
he wouldn't come see us for that. Oh, you're no fun. Listen, cousin, when I'm done tearing up the battlefield tomorrow, I'm gonna throw my head back and shout victory with a big belly laugh just for you. <laughs> Seriously, though, Noah, we don't have any doubts you're gonna lead us to a win. Practically a given! Hey! Wish us luck out there, cousin. Not that we need it. <laughs> That'll be fun to celebrate with once we win the war. Noah, you're supposed to be in bed. <laughs> Sorry, Leon. Amusing, coming from a gal who can't get to sleep because she's too excited. Mimi, shh, don't tell him that. Aha, caught in a web of lies. Web, it's one little lie that's like a strand of a lie, if anything. The web thickens. No, man, webs do not thicken. They, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, though. Feels like it was only yesterday that we met. That's how life is. Time rolls by without you noticing. Until one day, you're looking around, wondering where it all went. Yeah, I guess that's true. Say, Noah, after we win tomorrow and send the Empire packing, what you gonna do with yourself? I honestly haven't given it much thought. Really? Okay, okay, so hear me out. What if we formed a new watch? We could hunt monsters, teach brigands a lesson or two, fun times like that. <laughs> that does sound fun, actually. Right? Uh, Mimi, are you in? I must finish my journey of the sword. Oh, boo! But I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tag along for a little while. A connection like ours deserves that much. Really? Wahoo! Now we just gotta rope Garin! <laughs> well, now that I've got something to look forward to, I'm gonna tuck in. Big victory in the works tomorrow and all that, right? Sleep well, you two. <laughs> She'll never change. No, probably not. And neither will you. You're steady as a rock, which is probably why so many people stand by you. As for me, you've taken me on an incredible journey as a swordswoman, and I'm grateful. Oh, I didn't do anything special. Hmm. Well, perhaps I'll turn in as well. Can't swing a sword with tired arms, after all. Yeah. We're going to win, Noah. We sure are. 
Oh, hey, forgot to mention, when we form our new watch, I'm carrying over my status as senior member. Wouldn't have it any other way, boss. That's my kiddo. Evening, Noah. Couldn't sleep. Just out for a walk. What about you, Hildy? I've been double checking everything for tomorrow. We can't afford a single mistake in such an important battle. Yeah. <sighs> you know, I had my reservations when the Lieutenant when Sane told me he was deserting the Empire. My entire life had been built around my military career, and the thought of turning my coat was unimaginable. So why'd you do it? Because I owe a debt to House Kessling and Sane's father. In fact, that's how I ended up becoming Sane's aide. He always seemed conflicted, both when he was out on missions and when he was placed under Duke Aldrich's command. Uh. I'm sure he was just as conflicted by his decision to leave, but the moment he did, it was like the shackles came off. He was finally free to fight for his own beliefs, and I could see he was... happy. That's why I went along with him, because seeing him happy also made me happy. I believe we have you to thank for being such a strong influence on Sane. Oh, I don't know about that. No, it's true. So, on behalf of the Lieutenant, allow me to extend my deepest thanks. You helped him discover that he could walk his own path through life. You set him free. Oh, I don't. I mean, that seems a little... Wait, really? I think I'll get back to work, Commander. Don't stay up too late. We need you on top form tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Trouble sleeping, Commander. I needn't stress how crucial it is to be rested for tomorrow, I trust. Yeah, I know. Melridge, tell me something, and don't lie. Do we have any chance at winning this thing? Well, I suppose you deserve an accurate assessment of our chances. If every single one of our ruses is a success, I place our odds at three in ten. Three in ten? That's... Wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> that said, and I do not put this out into the world as some hollow lie to boost morale. I believe we will win. Wait, really? The thing about people is that you can't take their full measure based on mere numbers and information. To me, that's the most fascinating part of living. As a tactician, I look at the numbers, analyze the strategy, and tell you three in ten when I look at how hard everyone has prepared for tomorrow, 
and how resolutely they face the challenge. I believe something different. I believe it's what's inside that will decide who wins. And by the measure of our hearts and spirits, we are certain to carry the day. So that is my answer, given not as a tactician, but as a rather plain man named Melridge. I'm glad you said that. Because I feel like we're going to win, too. Then we shall. Oh, I should retire now. After all, I have to prepare not only a battle plan, but a victory feast. Make it a good one. Hey, Noah. Out taking the air? Probably wouldn't kill you to catch some shut-eye. I'm on it. The fates of a lot of folks are on the line tomorrow. I know, Gar. It's a big responsibility, but I'm ready to shoulder it. <laughs> Didn't think I had to worry. All you gotta do is stand tall like always. We'll fight for you to our dying breath. Thanks, Gar. Tell me that after we win. Nothing fills a mercenary's belly like a savory meal after a sweet victory. So let's make sure we get extra helpings of both, yeah? <laughs> Good plan. The damn Empire doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Night. Oh, and get to sleep already. My, my, but here's a rare guest. You are the last person I expected to wander in. A young woman alone in the enemy camp? You're fortunate my officers spotted and reported you. A woman is less likely to be summarily cut down than a man. And besides, Sometimes one must cross the fire to reach water. Meaning what? You haven't come to offer terms of surrender, I presume? No. The others are determined to fight on the morrow despite the odds. Then why? I wish to remove myself from their foolish gamble. <laughs> you intend to surrender alone? Certainly not. I'd sooner break my own knees than bend one to the Dukes. Please just get to the point. During the confusion before tomorrow's battle, I intend to take several of my oldest attendants and flee this place. I have come here to buy safe passage. Your terms? After the battle commences, but before Kinan storms the castle, I need a guarantee we will be let through unharmed. We will abandon the others at the last possible moment, and with your troops at the gates, the Alliance will be unable to pursue. <laughs> Oh, 
Only you would dare to attempt a purchase of your freedom while coming to us empty-handed. House Groom's entire fortune is hidden in a secret treasure vault in Eltis Vice. It is yours, if you but agree. Hmm... A tempting offer. However... If you do this, House Groom's name will be dishonored forever. I have more important things to protect than honor and glory. Let them name me a coward. At least I'll be alive to hear it. Here, the signet ring of House Groom. To sweeten the deal, if I have failed to convince you already. Are we agreed? <laughs> It's no secret that you humans value your necks above all else. But very well, we are agreed. I only wish I could have seen that sniveling wretch, Salus Bailrunt, beg for his life. <laughs> I've sent the others away. It's safe. I thank you for granting me a meeting on short notice, General. I have something that I think you should see. I was under the impression House Kessling had sided with Dukes Aldrich. As head of my house, I had a responsibility to ensure my family's survival. All the same. You've had a change of heart. Under the Duke's nose, I solicited the help of some nobles who oppose him, and used a collaborator in the Intelligence Bureau to get my hands on this. And what have we here? Is this genuine? He managed to keep this one seal hidden from the Dukes. I should not have to tell you, it is authentic. Hmm. You've crossed a perilous bridge, Craig. Perhaps. But no matter what banner he stands under, my son is my son. All fired up for the big day? Might even be the most important day of our lives. Uh, not tied to the pressure or anything, which I'm probably doing, so I I'll just shut up now. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> She's right, you know. It is the most important day of our lives. Uh, everyone's gathered in the Great Hall. You coming? Right behind you.
Sorry for running late. That's unusual for you, my lady. I had a few odds and ends to attend to. There's just so much to get ready. Are you ready to move out? Yes, it's time. The day has come for our final battle with Dukes Aldric and his Imperial Legion. Our fates will be decided this day, as well as the fates of countless others. Duke Aldric seeks to claim the power of the Rune Lenses for his own ambitions, and is sacrificing innocent lives to do so. We have to stop him, no matter the cost. Look around you. We have parents, children, siblings, lovers, and friends, both new and old. People whose homes and countries stand imperiled, whose ideals and cultures are on the brink. Everyone here has something worth protecting, and we will fight to the last to keep them safe. Together we fight! Together we triumph! For the sake of the people and places we love, let us claim this victory together! Are you ready to show those imps the steel of the Alliance? We worked endless nights to get you weapons and equipment, and we know you won't let that be in vain. And if you thought breakfast was good, you're gonna love tonight's victory feast. We believe in you! We be fighting for the glory of all races! These Imperial Cravens don't stand a chance! These are our lands. It's our responsibility to defend them. And defend them we will. Brothers and sisters of the Alliance, Onward to victory! Today marks the end of the League of Nations. Congratulations, Your Grace. Yes. A page has indeed been turned. Yet, this is but one more passage in my greater story. For the war will continue apace. Can I rely on your continued fealty? Myself, my sword, and my life belong to you, your grace. To war! To war! Alliance! 
Fools! What do they mean to accomplish with only half, no, less than half our numbers? No wonder that woman wants to demean herself by running for the hills. <laughs> Fight for king and country to the bitter end. I only pray they understand when I do the same. Our enemy saw the new face of war! I shall make offerings of them on the bloody altar of conquest! Find a way to contain that thing? All the clever ruses in the world won't save us from utter destruction. had a plan. He, he's here! He came for us! Primitive race like the tree folk come by such power. Pay the dragon no heed. Advance. All right, it's 
time. Give the signal, Janquis. Yes, milady. Hmm. There's the cowardly woman's signal. At least she's smart enough to know one overgrown plant won't change her fate. Alert the troops. Tell them to momentarily halt their advance and refrain from engagement. At once, sire. As the battle is already raging, I shall go personally to ensure no harm befalls her in the confusion. <laughs> you worry over much. One must uphold one's promises to a lady, sire. Sure, Your Grace. The Kinane seem to have halted their advance. Halt it! What is Valmaris thinking? It's now or never. Give the signal, carry. Uh, right. I will do that because I'm totally ready to do that. Because I am perfect. Keep me on a knife's edge for so long. Even one as great as I was starting to lose my composure. Yeah, can we just get on with it? You know what to do, yes? Of course. All guardians are taught the secrets of the rune letters. Very well. Then follow my lead, and focus everything on the Primal Lens. No. No! What ghastly trick is this? And what in blazes is that sound? The Reverend Army is... They're turning into dust! Right on cue, the Forward Clan and the Elves stand with the League of Nations. Now show them how true our arrows fly! Archers, knock. Archers! Close! I am Electra, General of the Norasturi Army, and my every waking moment has been spent in anticipation of this day. Hear me, my soldiers! Long have you suffered the Empire's indignities and borne the unbearable for your country! But together, we will focus your anger into a single, mighty blade! Today, we defeat our sorrows and avenge our beloved Athrobalt! Now let us overrun these Kanarni gods! Charge! An ambush? Curse those wretched elves! Those blasted stragglers! Counterattack now! Send everyone! We can't, sire! The soldiers were just given the order to stand down! Our lines are in chaos! Contain this pandemonium at once, Vordis! 
Vortis! General Vortis is on the front line, sire. I'll have hands for this! Reform the ranks at once! I don't care what it takes! Oh, yeah! Woo! Look at the elves go! Wait, isn't that... General Electra! She's alive! General Electra of Norrisu, with me! has been annihilated, Your Grace. Also, our troops have been ambushed by both the Elves and a company of Norasturi stragglers, led by General Electra. I don't care if they've been ambushed. We still have more than double their numbers. So get out there and crush them! Your Grace. Beg pardon, Your Grace, but... Yes? What now? Warriors of Kenon, I hereby renounce the King's sworn oath I made upon these hordes. Henceforth, I follow the honor of my heart and fight for the Alliance. My enemy is Dukes Aldrich and his cursed empire. And if your heart knows this to be as true as mine, then follow me to victory! Onward with General Vortis! We'll show those Gaudians what Dragon Newt warriors are made of! Those filthy Dragon Newt traitors! Dwarves! Dwarves! The Kanani's have turned against us! What is the meaning of this, Vortis? You are King Sworn! I no longer have a king. You accuse Lady Periel of demeaning herself. She said there are more important things to protect than honor and glory, you scoffed. You wouldn't know true nobility if it grabbed you by the horns. Oh, spare me your momentary crisis of conscience! But this is no crisis. With every fiber of my being, I renounce you.
Spread the word! I want an all-out attack on the Alliance's main force! Make it known! A generous reward awaits whoever brings me the head of the blasted boy who commands them! You will lead the charge, Goldwyn! I order it in your Emperor's name! War is opportunity. The ability to seize the right chance at the right time. The time has never been more ripe. You wouldn't dare! Aldrich, you wicked traitor! Your crimes have been brought to light! You murdered the late Emperor and sequestered his son away to use as your pawn! What rot! Where is your proof? I hold in my hand a letter from His Young Excellency himself. It was entrusted to me by a number of principled individuals who, at great risk to their own life and limb, managed to elude your surveillance network. Hear these words, Aldrich. By order of His Excellency Ishmael Fetranthis, Emperor, of the Gordian Empire. His father's murderer is to be put to the sword. No! No! This cannot be! No! Wait! Look over there! It's General Goldwyn, really! General is going to fight with us! I can't believe it, but I think you're right. And why? What happened? Do you remember what I told you last night, Commander? I said victory depends on what's inside a person, which is why we would carry the day. So it's really that simple. Listen to a word he says, Noah. You can't trust any rogue who sends a lady into the enemy camp so she can pretend to be a scared little girl. Agreed. I can't count how many times he sent me into Imperial territory to spy on the Intelligence Bureau. And he insisted I pretend to be philandering in order to avoid suspicion. Wait, what? I totally believe that! You may submit your complaints later. What matters now is how we use this chance. He's right. Everyone target Aldrich's main force! Advance! Let me at him! You! Impudent worms! I show moisture of the sharks. I accept your challenge. Not like this. We're pulling out. One enemy unit destroyed. Now off. I will present this victory to my general. Pull back from the front. Don't <laughs> 
will not stand.
in sight. Prepare to attack. Lightning strike! Significant maggots! I'll not let you lay a single finger on his grace. Okay, we've made it this far. Let's find Aldric and put him down. That's right. Now we finish it. Time is on our side and we must not waste it. Rush his command post. If you strike down the Dukes, the entire Imperial army will collapse. Good luck, Commander Noah. Good luck, Lieutenant Sane. We need to hurry, Noah. I know. Everyone is counting on us. Who else will be going with you? Great, I'm in. Hey, it's a pleasure. You've come to the right healer. My power is yours. Victory! You imps have been running wild for far too long! Time for you to learn your manners! Good luck to you, my commander. Here I come! 
What? And a cute uh, little demise so for you. Not even worth sullying my blade. Is it? I like it. Accepted. Here I come. And a cute little demise for you. I walked all over them. This was a valuable experience. Broke a sweat. I like it. Accepted. Take this. Come win. Nice. Nice. Let's end this. 
this. So stay the hell is it? down. Oh, excuse me. I am grateful for any opportunity to grow. Challenge accepted. The Alliance's strike team will be here at any moment, Your Grace. We must withdraw quickly. It's too late for that. Aldrich! Well, well. If it isn't the treasonous Kessling Whelp and the commander of the mighty Alliance. Noah, was it? You are not wanted here! Too bad, because we've come to strike you down. Here for my head, are you, boy? And yet, my cause is great. For I am the one who will usher this world into a new and glorious evolution! Illuminating the workings of the Rune Lens's power, I will lead the way to a brighter future for all humanity! But only at the cost of innocent lives! We're ending your bloody scheme, Aldric. Your dream dies today! Forgive me, Heinrich, but you know what I must ask. There is not to forgive, Your Grace. You saved my life, and it is yours to use as you see fit. I will remember this act of loyalty and courage forever. I can know no greater honor. Get back here, Aldrich! Not one step farther! I am Imperial General Heinrich, the Duke's shield, 
The Duke says sword! And I will stop you even at the cost of my flesh, my life, and my soul! Do or die, Sane. Do or die, Noah. Behold the true face of power. Ha! You're nothing!
like it. What? So <laughs> All of you. See, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. uh, Are you all right? I am the son of Dix Aldrich. Come on. What? Fools. All of you. Let's try this. The last one the is you I guys. Want. Arcana! This, this battle's over! Cannot be! Is everyone alright? I am grateful for any opportunity. Ah! Hurry! We have to go after Aldric! <laughs> I won't let you lens. It's What's happening to him? Is this light from a lens? Yes. It sleeps within my flesh. Tremendous power. Inside you. It is too much for a person to control. If it wasn't for the lens's power, my beloved, my poor family, I would not have... I would never... The Duke's cause is just, and I will not allow you to stand in his way. His ridicule. There's nothing holding the magic back. Run! Aldric has escaped. I'm sorry. All the same, the Imperial Army is retreating. Wait. Do you mean... Victory is ours. But what about the Dukes? General Goldwyn's defection is already sending waves through the Imperial Army. The Dukes is nothing if not skilled at reading a situation. He knows there is no way he can cling to power. Then we did it! We've kept everyone safe. Yes, we did. Now, hold your heads high, because it's time for your triumphant return home. Now we're talking. Ain't no wine sweeter than what's poured from the victory cask. We did it! We won! Couldn't have done it without you, Marissa. My name is pronounced Marcus. General Goldwyn! Lieutenant Sane Kessling! I owe you a debt of gratitude. Without your brave actions, Aldrich's despicable experimentation and murder of the late Emperor might never have come to light. You honor me, General. I'm so glad to see you safe, General. 
How did you do it? After scouring Noristra for stragglers, I laid low in neighboring lands until the moment was right, which turned out to be the last possible moment. <laughs> Something tells me the good tactician wanted it that way. Commander Noah, with your permission, I and my like-minded Dragonute warriors wish to join the Alliance. You'd be most welcome, General. you decide to side with us? Lady Periel won me over with her noble spirit. When I look back on the things I have done and compare myself, I feel great shame. The Alliance has brought together all manner of strengths and ideals. I believe that is the reason that we won. And yes, there are still battles to be fought, but before that, we have another matter to attend to. We do? <laughs> now that's what I wanted to hear. I've been roughing it for how many days now? He's right. There's one thing everyone here has been waiting for. The order should come from you, Commander. The grub, the smorgasbord, the big gut spectacular. I hear there's already a most impressive spread laid out below. Well, don't let me hold you up. Everyone dig in, and that's an order. Can I help you, General Vortis? I fear I must deliver some unhappy news. What is it? King Silas Baelorin died in prison after being taken captive by the Empire. The King is... dead? But that can't be. I swore I would never abandon him. May his soul find peace. If it consoles you, the Dukes wanted him to reveal your castle's location, but he remained steadfast to the last. His silence delayed the Empire's arrival a full week. Perhaps the king also was ashamed of his behavior during the conflict, and sought to do right in the end. Had he given in, today would likely have gone most differently. Oh. General. In peacetime, King Sullus never failed to look after his subjects. He was utterly devoted to us. And yet, he abandoned us in our hour of greatest need. But the real King Solus, the one I remember, he was a fine man. Good evening, Noah. Did you tire of the fate?
Sort of. Between Gar and Sabine and General Kogan, things were getting a little too rowdy for comfort. <laughs> yes, it does sound as if a good time is being had by all. So, what brings you here? Not like you to just pop by. It occurred to me that I never properly thanked you. For what? The favor I asked of you in Eltis Vice. Not only did you raise a resistance army, you turned it into an incredible home for so many people. So, for the record, Noah, thank you. Um, of course. I mean, you're welcome. But you deserve just as much credit, Perry. I wouldn't have done any of this without you giving me a push. So, you know, thank you too. <laughs> um, Perry? Remember how I said you reminded me of someone I cared about? I take it back. Up close, you're nothing like him. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Yes, well, I bid you good night. Tomorrow, we're going to officially comment on the victory, so you'd best get to work on your speech. Sleep well, Noah. Might I have everyone's attention? This is nothing like the last pep talk. Yeah, well, there aren't a billion guys outside waiting to kill us. <laughs> Fair point. Through your determination, your courage, and your spirit, we have emerged from our long battle victorious. And we gather here today to share in that joy together. I'm just glad we came out of it alive. Kubi! But while the battle may be won, the war is not. Even so. There's nothing wrong with taking a day to celebrate. Hear, hear. Commander Noah, would you say a few words to commemorate our victory? Oh, um, right. Break a leg, kiddo. <laughs> Victory, he says. Let's see how well they react when their guards are down.
What happened? Who did that? There! Get it! Is she... Will Perry... It's been three days! I'm sorry. We sought out every doctor we could find, but... What? No, no, this can't... I mean, she can't die! And she can't! I fear the arrow was tipped with a rare poison that has no antidote. No, I refuse to believe it. She doesn't deserve this. After everything we've been through together, it's not fair. <laughs> Noah? Is she awake? Milady wishes to speak with you. Could you come inside? Of course. Oh, Noah. Um, hey, Perry. Goodness, no need to look so dreadfully sad. Why did you do that? Why did you save me? Not everything is about you, Noah. I was protecting something greater. I don't... Hope, Noah. I was protecting hope. <sighs> but why is that your job? I don't know. Why is it your job to keep fighting for people? Okay, but... Some years ago, my father succumbed to an illness. When he passed, I was overcome with grief. I thought my tears might never stop. But on that night, I realized something. Though my father doted on me, not once did he spare me a word of praise. Not once. No, your ladyship. Your father. I know, Emir. I know father loved me. And I loved every day with him in turn. But he clearly wanted a son. I saw that truth every time he looked at me. He was always so terrible at hiding it. Janquis. Yes, my lady. Do you think father would praise me now? Yes, milady. I am certain of it. Good. I'm glad. Yuma, might I ask you a favor? A distant relative of mine in House Groom will require a guardian. Can I count on you to provide? 
Yes, of course. I swear it. And I'll get Altus Vice and all the lands of Groom back for you and defend them to my dying day. You have nothing to fear. But, but none of this matters because you're going to get better. I just know you will. I... <laughs> Thank you. Noah? I'm here, Perry. There it is. That's the look that tells me everything will be all right. But... I'm so very tired. I I think I'll rest now. I'm so grateful you came into my life, Perry. <laughs> Jenquist, do something for me. Anything, milady? Would you scratch my head, like you used to, when I was small? It always helped me sleep so peacefully. Of course, milady. Soldiers, advance! Today we take our homeland back! Go, go, go! Maximum hustle! <sighs> home sweet home. Now let's hunt down the last of the Imperial stragglers. Marissa really wanted to be here for this, but I'm glad I talked her out of it. <sighs> Gotta make sure Yarnan is as beautiful as she remembers before she returns. We're home, General. I just wish King Salas were here to see this. I know he would want us to watch over Norrister and House Bailrant in his stead. Morning, Noah. How are you today? Oh, morning, Leon. You want to head over to the Great Hall? They've got big news about the Liberation Campaign. <laughs> yep. You miss Periel. Yeah, me too. But I know she'd want us to keep living as best we can. Now that Commander Noah is here, shall we discuss how the counteroffensive is progressing? Can't believe it's been a whole month since the big battle. 
As you know, we have sent forces to liberate the League's occupied cities. General Cassius to Haishan, General Electra to Athrabald, and Guardian Wave to Yarnon. I have received word from all three that their attempts were successful. When the tides are with you, they're with you. I tried to convince Cassius to let me go along. Same. I wanted to go to Yarnan, but Wave said they could handle it without me. All I wanted was to be there to set my village free, but he said I was needed more here. The General was concerned about you putting yourself in harm's way, Your Majesty. Mm. What we know is this. The Empire's military campaign is flagging. A large factor in that was our successful mission to rescue the young Emperor, which has caused public sentiment to turn against the Dukes. Lieutenant Sane deserves much praise for his deft execution of this difficult mission. I could not have seen it through without the help of you, my father, and many others. Even the Intelligence Bureau came through for us, after I called in a few favors. We must seize the moment and attack Dukes Aldrich on his own soil. If we hesitate, it will give him a chance to regroup. Knowing him, he's already hatching a plan to reclaim power. And given time, he will succeed. Don't worry. We won't give him the chance. If you're facing off with the boss man again, you better believe I'm coming along. As a run-up to that, we need to liberate Eltis Vice so we can use it as a staging ground for the invasion. So, Eltis Vice's day has finally come. We do this for Lady Periel. We ain't losing this fight. I don't care what it takes. Currently, Altus Vice is being held by General Chapel Winlert, who fled there after eluding capture in Haishan. As previously discussed, we will mount our attack without waiting for Generals Cassius and Electra or Guardian Wave to return. Are you ready, Commander? Time to set Eltis Vice free. And free her we shall. Come on, Noah. Best of luck, my boy. I have all faith that you'll prevail. We will. Whatever it takes. After all this time, here we stand again. Time to chase some rats out of our home. Stay vigilant, everyone. No mistakes. This one's for her ladyship. It's a battle, then. Today, we liberate Eltis Vice. It. This can't be the end! Hold your ground! 
Remember your debt to Dukes Aldrich, he who raised you all out of obscurity. Show these dogs that the glory of the Empire never fades! Blazes? Is that a room tank? So the Kessling boy is here. That traitorous whelp. Never imagined we'd be doing this again. Compared to last time, you seem a lot more at peace with it. True. Back then, the lieutenant... Well, it's in the past. How about it, Lieutenant? Give the order and let's blast our way to a brighter tomorrow. Well said. Take aim at the main gates and... Fire! <laughs> oh, this is way more enjoyable when the tank is on your side. City is our second home. Full speed ahead, guys. In the name of Lady Periel, this city will be free. Her ladyship never gave up on trying to protect this place, and neither will we. The Empire has had their way for long enough. Her ladyship loved this city with all her heart and we will not fail her now Defeated the enemy unit. <laughs> 
Don't let up now. we could achieve. We've been bested! Gotta save our skins! Run! Sorry, this is as far as I go. help you perhaps
getting cozy in here. Please come by. I have things to do, you know. We'll continue the journey together. I am here to assist, Noah. I'll try my best. <laughs> You'll be glad you took a guardian along. No? I'm counting Off on you. with you. Hey there! No need to rush. the runes to Come in, come in. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you kindly. Take a look. Thanks. Yes? Time to demonstrate the power of the stone light! Right, I'll be off. Use my magic thriftfully. Off Say with no you. More. I'm a teleportation professional. Hmm. Perfect. As usual. yourselves. for me. Yeah! Oh, they got me. Ah! I'll 
use this. Don't overdo it. Don't die on me. Thank you. I'll use this! Dibs on the last one! Good. The easier, the better. I still need more training. Always perfect. Now that Commander Noah is here, shall we discuss how the counteroffensive is progressing? I can't believe it's been a whole month since the big battle. As you know, we have sent forces to liberate the League's occupied cities. General Cassius to Haishan, General Electra to Athrobald, and Guardian Wave to Yarnon. I have received word from all three that their attempts were successful. When the tides are with you, they're with you. I tried to convince Cassius to let me go along. Same. I wanted to go to Yarnan, but Wave said they could handle it without me. All I wanted was to be there to set my village free, but he said I was needed more here. The General was concerned about you putting yourself in harm's way, Your Majesty. Mm. What we know is this. The Empire's military campaign is flagging. A large factor in that was our successful mission to rescue the young Emperor, which has caused public sentiment to turn against the Dukes. Lieutenant Sane deserves much praise for his deft execution of this difficult mission. I could not have seen it through without the help of you, my father, and many others. Even the Intelligence Bureau came through for us, after I called in a few favors. We must seize the moment and attack Dukes Aldrich on his own soil. If we hesitate, it will give him a chance to regroup. Knowing him, he's already hatching a plan to reclaim power. And given time, he will succeed. Don't worry. We won't give him the chance. If you're facing off with the boss man again, you better believe I'm coming along. As a run-up to that, we need to liberate Eltis Vice so we can use it as a staging ground for the invasion. So, Eltis Vice's day has finally come. We do this for Lady Periel. We ain't losing this fight. I don't care what it takes. Currently, Altus Vice is being held by General Chapel Winlert, who fled there after eluding capture in Haishan. 
As previously discussed, we will mount our attack without waiting for Generals Cassius and Electra or Guardian Wave to return. Are you ready, Commander? It's time to set Eltis Vice free. And free her we shall. Come on, Noah. Best of luck, my boy. I have all faith that you'll prevail. We will. Whatever it takes. After all this time, here we stand again. Time to chase some rats out of our home. Stay vigilant, everyone. No mistakes. This one's for her ladyship. It's a battle, then. Today, we liberate Eltis Vice. It. This can't be the end! Hold your ground! Remember your debt to Dukes Aldric! He who raised you all out of obscurity! Show these dogs that the glory of the Empire never fades! Kessling boy is here. That traitorous whelp. Never imagined we'd be doing this again. Compared to last time, you seem a lot more at peace with it. True. Back then, the lieutenant... Well, it's in the past. So how about it, lieutenant? Give the order and let's blast our way to a brighter tomorrow. Well said. Take aim at the main gates and... Fire! <laughs> oh, this is way more enjoyable when the tank is on your side. Don't stop now! Let's see how they like it! Ladyship never gave up on trying to protect this place, and neither will we. The Empire has had their way for long enough. Her Ladyship loved this city with all her heart. 
and we will not fail her now. Just execute the plan. Treat! All right, they seem to be pulling back.
feels like forever since we fled this place. But we still know the city better than anyone, so let's get this done. Who will you be taking with you? You got it! Right. Let's get to it. going. Stand your ground. I have faith in you. Here I come. You're nice no to nice to no nice to no nice to nothing. Oh, cute little demise Go. with you. Not even worth my blade. I am grateful for any opportunity to grow. This is as far as you go. Any last words? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 Taking Elsa's vice back, so step aside. Come on, let me at him. Here I come. No, nice try. Nice try. Nice try. No, handle this. Go. I walked Dear. all over them. Do 
something already, you idiots! We must hold the city! We cannot permit the Alliance to mount an attack on the Duke's lands! That would mean the end of House Winlot! No, 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 no! You're finished, Chapel! The city is ours! You maggots have dashed my hopes! Stolen my future! Should have known we'd come for you eventually. Her ladyship loved this city. We won't let you stay here and be a blight on it. Let's get him! Let's do this! was assured. <sighs> wow, I sure miss this place. Glad to see it hasn't changed. Thankfully, the invaders didn't treat it too harshly. you once the war is over. Hmm. Honestly, I haven't given it much thought. Well, I know what I want. I'm gonna form a new watch, just like the old days. Hmm. I like that idea. 
as do I. It's still too soon to say what the future holds for Groom. But if it means we can carry on her ladyship's legacy, I can see why Periel loved this city so much. Yeah. Periel pinned all her hopes for this land and the League on you. She could have chosen me, but no matter how I feel about it, she did not. She would have wanted me to help you, Noah. And I shall. We will do whatever it takes to preserve the beauty of this city she cared for. So long as we breathe, and even after we are gone. But I promise you this. One day, I will become the sort of man she would have admired. Someone worthy. This, I swear. I know you will, Yuma. Thank you, Noah. Well, Noah, it seems like the big moment has finally arrived. And not a day too soon. Then I guess I don't have to worry about you getting cold feet. Not that you were ever the type. I don't know about that, but there isn't really another way except forward. True enough. Well, everyone's waiting in the Great Hall for you to give the order. Pooby Poo! At last, the day has arrived. Our preparations are complete. Each of the Allied armies has been fully outfitted and strenuously trained for the final assault of Duke's Aldrich's lands. I've arranged for ample provisions, as well as the means to transport them. Inside Galdia's borders, the Duke's military losses and the emancipation of the Emperor have divided the nobility's allegiances. However, there remains a good chance Aldrich can gather enough support to cling to power. We cannot squander this chance. We must bring the battle to him and end this war once and for all. This is also our chance to put a stop to his horrific rune lens experiments. Agreed. There's no excuse for what he's done. And as a guardian and warrior of the Alliance, I won't let it continue. This will be our final battle, Commander. Will you give the order? Let's go put an end to this war. We're about to march on Duke Aldrich's lands in the Galdean Empire. We faced many battles together, many hardships. 
and we overcame them all. The battle ahead will be the culmination of the perseverance, diligence, and conviction we have shared. Now who's with me? Then let's go end this damn war! All right, one perfect teleportation. Is this the right? Well met, Noah. Still looking, I'm afraid. What I long for is a work of art with soul. failed at this. Not once. Here we go. Hmm. Perfect. As usual. Good eye, mate. I Good eye, mate. How are those receipts looking? Crikey! Kiddo, what you doing out here all by yourself? Soul searching? 
Ha? So, this is really it, huh? Just one more battle and the war's over. Yep, this is it. And that's what I thought. You know, I always wanted to be like the heroes you hear about in stories. The ones who kick butt on bad guys and save the day. That's why I took off from my village. Heard whispers of trouble, thought I could help. Boy, was I misinformed. <laughs> But here we are, a million things later, and we're about to go kick butt on the bad guy. It's been a long fight, for sure. But turns out I'm not the hero. You're the one who's saving the day. When we fled Altusweiss and started our lives here, you didn't give up for a moment. You're like the perfect hero. And for the record, I'm a little jealous. Well, you shouldn't be. You always stay positive and you're always cheering people up. You're great to be around, Leon. And that makes you the biggest hero we have. Really? You're my hero, at any rate. I'm your hero? Oh my gosh, I'm Noah's hero. You know what? I like that. In fact, I prefer that. All right, kiddo. You've gotten me all charged up for tomorrow. Let's go out there, put that villain in his place, and return home as heroes. You got it, boss. <laughs> I'd better practice my battle cries. Ha! <laughs> oh, hey! While I've got you here... You wouldn't happen to have a crush on anyone, would ya? What? is upon us, Dukes. Frankly, I'm surprised they didn't arrive sooner. There it is. Guardhaven Castle. So that's where Aldric is conducting his twisted lens research. Where are the forces of Lord Warwick and Lord Dalburn? On the march, Your Grace. It will take them several more days to arrive. <laughs> Bloody fence sitters. They're playing wait and see. Still, we can force them to action by waiting it out. Time is on our side, so long as we hold off the enemy. Eldrick still commands a large host of troops. In terms of numbers, we've little room for error. The Dukes will tighten his defenses and try to stall for time, and he's unlikely to fall for more of our tricks. 
made it this far by fighting with one heart and one mind. We can win here, too. That's the spirit. Galdia must be made a righteous country again. I'm with you to the end, Lieutenant. As a defender of the Rune Lenses, I must put a stop to this bloodshed. I possess confidence that we are doing the right thing. to wickedness, and I will end it now! What do you know of my path, Kessling Worm? The hour has come for you to pay for your crimes against the Empire, Aldrich. And this is how you show loyalty to said Empire! By helping the League deprive your motherland of her future! Bold words from the man who murdered his own emperor. Just execute the plan. <laughs> Retreat!
still... Uh, I mean the rune tank, all right. You pushed her too hard. Come on, girl. Don't fail us now! able to release the Drakkar. It's wounded from the last battle and proving difficult to control. I demanded calibration be expedited, but it's still too soon to consider deployment. Ugh, stubborn thing!
reach the castle! All that's left is to hunt down Aldrich. Kobe! Let's finish this! The rune tank can't handle much more. We should take shelter. Oh, Sylvie. Thank you for everything. Paul. I'll be all right, Sane. I'm going to fix her up. When I'm done, she'll be more lovely than ever before. Just the way I pictured her. So this is goodbye, but not farewell. I'll help you out. I guess I could carry your tools. Oh, very helpful, Valentine. <laughs> I'll help too. Thanks. Now let's go put an end to this war. Sylvie doesn't belong on a battlefield. She's meant to make people's lives better. And that's exactly how I'm going to remake her. All that remains is to bring Aldric to justice. Leave the remaining troops outside the castle to us. I'm entrusting my hopes in you, Noah. We all are. Luck be with you. Thanks. We'll be together in spirit. Let's finish the Dukes and put a stop to his barbarism. We won't let one more life be lost. And who else will be accompanying you? You're safe in my hands. Point me at your foes. I will daw them into little puddles. Great, I'm in. I understand. I'll wait till I'm needed. Keep you fed. You're safe in my hands.
I'll bring the panache. You behave yourself, Marissa. <laughs> Good luck, Noah. I'll be praying for your safe return. What a mighty castle! Oh, it's got me so fired up! Time to end this! Ah! Now we settle things once and for all. Resorting to violence. Here I come. No. I'll handle this. I walked all over them.
Just hate resorting to <gasps> violence. Surprise, surprise, it won't budge. This mechanism looks a lot like the ones we've seen in the Rune Barrows. A sign that Aldrich's research has progressed? If so, all we need to do is find the lenses that serve as the door's keys. And then we should be able to open it.
look, the lens. This must be Eldrick's library. Look at the size of it. It puts some Imperial universities to shame. Yeah, it's overwhelming. It's an eyesore is what it is. It looks like there's a... It looks like... Shelves move? Fire up the ovens! Here I come! Nice try! Oh, nice, you're, nice, you're, nice. You're, you're nice try! For a cute little demise go. for you! That's what you Dear. get! I am grateful for any opportunity.
over them. Yeah! 
worth sullying my blade. Resorting to violence. Let's try this. Don't be so Thank rash. You so much. Shouldn't be hard. Sullying my blade. I am grateful for any up. Resorting to violence. Perhaps this is to your taste. Don't be so 
what you get! I like it! I think this book will...
think this... Challenge accepted. Okie doke. Out here. them.
Challenge accepted. This is the last one. Over there, in the back. That's our way forward.
welcome. We meet again, Mask. Ah, the little guardian. I gather it was you who defeated Durad and halted the primal lens of soul calling? Sure was. And it felt real good. I remember you from the Tree Folk Sparrows. Who are you? An envoy of the Conclave of the Dawn. A group of mine whose motives run contrary to the Guardians. They're a bunch of thieves who want the Lens's secrets. Is that why you've been helping Eldrick? The future he seeks is of great interest to the Conclave. And I suppose you don't care how many people die to make it happen. We believe the rune lenses are at least that valuable, yes. But enough chatter. It's time I repaid some of the Dukes' charity. Let's get it done! Order up! This was close! Yeah! 
I suppose that should be enough. People like you come along, defile the barrows, and twist ancient knowledge for your own benefit. And it's the Guardian's duty to make you pay! Oh, you'll not be striking me down today, little one. Uh, what the? Ah, good. They've released it. I was hoping I'd bought enough time. And now I must away. Don't you dare! Until we meet again, little guardian. <sighs> no! She did it again! Pull! Uh, so what was all that rumbling? What monstrosity is this? All the more reason to hurry. Say, Noah, did you ever tell Marissa about our first co-expedition in the Barrows? No, and maybe it's better we keep it that way.
to me please Take a look. Come back soon! It's open. Good. Now let's go face that tyrant down. We should make absolutely sure that we're ready. Who knows what's lying in wait for us. that you guys heard that howling right <sighs> sounds like the Duke says one nasty pet doesn't matter we're still coming for him
Aldrich! <laughs> of course it's you. To think my grand aspirations would be derailed by some nameless whelp. Today we set the Empire back on the path of righteousness, starting with your death! The secrets of the Barrows and Rune Lenses aren't meant to be heedlessly shared with all. As their defender, it falls to me to strike you down. Kobibi! What absolute rubbish! Why should we tolerate the Rune Lens's power being relegated to sorcery that only a handful of people can use? And that falteringly at best. We must establish technology that all can use. It is the only way forward for humanity. How can you fools be so selfish as to insist it stay hidden away in some dusty old ruins? Permit such intellectually deprived insects to stand in my way. It will not happen. And when have you ever done anything for humanity? All your actions have been about seizing power for yourself. You had the lives of Yelu's fellow villagers in your hands, and you traded them away for your own personal gain! All your talk about humanity is a lie! You don't give a damn about humanity! You're just a monster who speaks of greatness to cover up his own greed! The people have been forced to swallow your lies for too long! It ends here! A lie, you say? How could anyone in their right mind call power so great a lie? Prove to me otherwise! What's happening? There!
Time to rest! I'm ending this. Perhaps Here, this and is now. to your taste. Please, hey. so close. Let's try the Don't next. be so Thank rash. Thank you so much.
We... We won. Now, we just have to take care of Eldrick. Then this will finally all be over. The bridge! Damn it! Is everyone okay? Don't worry about us. Keep your eyes on the prize, Noah. Ah. I'm coming for you, Aldrich. Destroyed it, Aldrich. You wanted proof? There's your proof. Do you see it, boy? <sighs> How it shines. Could there be anything more lovely? When I was but small, someone told me a fairy tale. Once, in days of yore, rune lenses could be wielded by all. The thought made my heart leap with joy. But it also filled me with envy. Why them, and not me? Was I selfish to think that? Perhaps. Oh, but it matters little now. However, Noah... I chose this path, and I will not turn from it. After a certain age, it is too late to renounce beliefs. So come at me, if you dare. Let us end this. Oh, I dare. I'm putting an end to this, Aldrich! With what power? Show me! Pathetic! My plans for the world will not be impeded! What is it about you? Why must you continually interfere? If you still don't know, now that you stand all alone, then you never will. Nothing! You will not sway me from my path! Pathetic! My plans for the world will not be impeded! I also chose my path, and I will see it through to the end! You lack the strength! 
strength for such boy! Behold! The primal lens is pure and absolute power! to challenge me again, little Kessling. Today you fall! You have betrayed your empire! You did, when you sullied Galdea's good name! Nothing you say will ever take the blood off your hands. And all because you coveted the lens's power! I am weary to death of your preaching. Only the weak cling to sentiment when there is a wiser path! I will not turn away from what I know to be right! You know nothing! Simple-minded whelp! not sway me from my path. I will not turn away from what I know to be right. You know nothing! Minded whelp! But instead, you kept it locked away! I've heard enough out of you! Even if I wasn't a guardian, this is my world too! And I don't need you to tell me what's best for it! The lives you took to awaken the primal lens? It's unconscionable! was inevitable! Had I not done it, someone else would have! Oh, look at you! You won't even own up to it! 
People like you are the worst! I will not be lectured by you, Guardian! You really don't get it, do you? Hapumi! Humanity has a right to wield the lenses! It is our destiny to attain that technology! Who do you think you're fooling? All you want is to build weapons! means to an end. I will not be lectured by you, Guardian! You really don't get it, do you? Hapumi! Who do you think you're fooling? All you want is to build weapons! means to an end. I will not be lectured by you, Guardian! You really don't get it, do you? Hapumi! Humanity has a right to wield the lenses! It is our destiny to attain that technology! I will not be lectured by you, Guardian! You think the whole world wants the same thing as you? over the lenses to take uncountable lives just to unlock their power? No one wants that! You're alone! And your path leads to nothing! Silence! I call again! Upon the primal lens! Defeat me! Your punishment will be delivered by all of us! Every person who wishes as strongly as I do for your tyranny to end! No! No! I, I, I need more power! Answer my call! Give me the strength to prevail!
did it. <sighs> yes. Of course we did. Awful B. What now? The castle is collapsing. How you think? Run! Thank <laughs> you. 